Hello everyone. This is the second project and it is based on the concepts which we have discussed till now. This mini project is library management system. Let us explore it first and then we will build it from scratch. So let me run it for you. So here you can see this project welcomes you to the library and you need to enter your choice. Choice number one is display the books. Choice number two is lending a book. Choice number three is adding a new book. And choice number four is returning a book. So let me run this and then we will execute. We will start coding from scratch and complete this particular project. If you press one, it displays, we have following book in our library. And you can see the list of books, Python fundamentals, rich dad, poor dad, Harry Potter, C++ basics, algorithms and data structures. Now, if you want to lend a book, you can press C to continue, and then you will again get the same menu and you can press the choice too. Here, you need to press that which book do you want to lend? For example, I want to lend C++ basics. So here you can see that C++ basics is going to be issued in my name. So I'll be putting my name here, Kushal. And now lender book database has been updated. So you can see here, lender book database has been updated. You can take the book now. Again, it is asking to continue or quit. I'll be continuing and I will try to add a book. So I'm pressing the option three and enter. So here it is asking the name of the book to be added. So I will write here a motivational books book that is seven habits. Of highly effective people enter. So again, the book has been added to the book list. So if I will press continue and display, so you can see that seven habits of highly effective people, that book is also there in the database. Now let's assume, let's continue and assume that somebody is trying to lend a book and uh, that book has already been taken by somebody else. For example, C++ basics. So this book has already been issued by some other person. And this time this book is being issued by, let's say, Raj. So here it displays a message, book is already being used by Kushal. So Raj cannot issue it. Okay. And now if I want to return a book, I need to continue and I need to press four. And this way I can return a book. Enter the book you want to return. So C++ basics. This was the book I had issued. And now C++ basic has been returned. Let me continue again. And now Raj comes back and again tries to book uh, lend that particular book. So let me just write here the same. Yeah, so same book's name, C++, B-A-S-I-C-S, basics. And the name is Raj again. The lender book database has been updated. So you can see that how this particular project is functioning. And let us create it from scratch. Okay, step by step. Let me press quit. So I'm getting exited from the program. All right, so let us start coding here. So first of all, what do we need? We can create a library class. So create a library class. So for that, the code is class and library. And now inside it, we all know we have data members and member methods inside a class. So let's, let's start with a constructor which can have the data members uh, defined then and there itself. So we can start with def 
underscore underscore in it underscore underscore and uh, here we will take the self parameter and we will take a list here and we will take name here so these three parameters we are going to take now we will initialize them so self dot book list so self dot book list will have all the books we have passed in the parameter list then second we will have self dot name so self dot name will again the name we will pass so this will be creating initial book list and the name of the library so while we will be creating an object of the library so this is something is going to be initialized at the time of object creation now after this we will have a dictionary because we want to maintain that which person or which individual has lended has taken or is using which book so for that we will have another data member self dot len lend lend dict so this we will store into a dictionary okay so let me store that into a dictionary okay because it is a key value pair so here i'll be able to store name of the lender as well as which book that person has been has taken so this is my init function or the constructor part now let us move ahead and try to define a function and this function will be display books so display book function and we need to pass here the argument self and now here we will just display the books which we have so we have the following books in our library and we can we can print the library name here self dot name that is a library name and we can end with double quotes all right now moving further we will just try to print all the books which are present in the book list we have so for book n self dot book list we will just display print books we'll display all the books here okay so this is the function for displaying the books which we have now moving ahead def we will have another function and this function will be used for lending the book so lend book is the name of the function it will also have a parameter that is self then another parameter that who is the user who is lending who is issuing the book and third parameter we will have is book itself okay which book it uh, the user is going to take now from the library so for these three parameters now what we will do we have a dictionary lend dict dictionary so we need to update it there okay so we will write because if that book has been already taken so we need to print a message that the book has already been taken by some other user so we will use if else over here if book not in okay so if book not in self dot lend dict lend dict dot keys so if the book is not present in the keys of lend dict in that case what to do in that case we can add it over there so we will update it with a new key value pair so self dot here we will have lend dict and this needs to be updated so we will update it okay so update and we'll update it with the new key value pair and that is book will be the key and user will be the value okay fine 
and then we will just display a message that lender database has been updated. Okay, so lender database has been updated. Okay, and we can allow that person. You can take the book now. Okay, so the person can take the book. Now moving ahead, this is one condition. Now another condition is if it is there, if the book is there in the lend it dictionary. So at that time, what we can do, we can print. Yeah, so here we can print that book has already been used. Book has already been used by, we can just display here. Okay, self dot lend dict. And here we can pass book. Okay, so this will display that who is basically having that book currently. Now another function we require is add book. So we will do that def add book. Okay, we have uh, created this function with argument self and which book we want to add. Now here we have a book list that is a list so we need to update that so self dot book list and this needs to be appended to it append and then we can just pass the book so this will add that book in the list we can just print a message so that to the user it is confirmed so book has been updated or book has been added to the library book list. So the book has been added. Now the next function we will create is return book because once somebody has read the book, utilized the book, then that person is going to return the book. So the function would be return book. This is the function. Again, self and book. So who is returning and book? Okay. So here, now from self dot lend dict, I believe you must have got what we need to do because lend dict is having the detail that uh, who has got that book. So here we will pop that particular book. Okay. I will pop it out. So pop and that particular book. So the details of that book with user will be popped out. That means now that user is not having that particular book. Okay, so this is the first piece of code. We have executed it. Now second piece of code, now we will run the program. Okay, so if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to equal to underscore underscore main, okay then we need to run we need to execute the program here let us create the object of the library okay so ind ins this is the object of the library and uh, library library and here inside it the first is a list the first argument is a list so in the first argument i will pass a list with a with the name of the books so let's say the name of the books is rich dad poor dad okay this is first book we have in the library then second book we will have in the library uh, would be let's say c plus plus f u n d a m a n t l s fundamentals okay then there is another basic book let us see okay we can have that then we can have a python programming book And many books we can have. Let's add one more and conclude it here. So we can have another book uh, that is uh, Let Us Win. Okay. So these are the books we, which we have. And the second parameter, okay, or the argument we need to pass, 
name of the library. So name of the library is IND EED indeed inspiring. This is the name of the library library. Okay, so indeed inspiring. So I'm writing here. Okay, just to ensure that when we display, it is getting displayed properly. So this is the name of the library. Okay. Now, next thing we are going to do is now we will be uh, creating the whole menu so that uh, user gets uh, the menu in a proper format. So we will run it while it is true. So while it is true, okay, so in Python, T needs to be capital. So while true, then we are going to display the menu and run all the options. So let's start with printing a welcome message. So here we are printing a welcome message. So welcome to the, and here we will mention the name of the library that is ind ins dot name. So welcome to the indeed inspiring library. Okay, this is what will be printed. And then we can ask, enter your choice. Okay, so enter your choice. Yes. Now, after this, we will print a message, print, and here we will print the menu. Okay, so the first option we will give is display the books. Okay, this is the first option we have. Then we can have second option as two. Second option we will have, it is lend a book, lend a book. This is the second option which we have. After that, we will have third option as add a book. And then fourth option we will have return a book. Okay, so we have display all the books, lend a book, add a book and return a book. These are the available options we're going to give. Then we will ask for the user to give the input. Okay, so we will ask for the user to give the input and the user's input would be And the user's input would be one option, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, any, any option out of that. So let me take user choice. Okay, user choice as user input, input, and here we will take the user input, fine. Now, we will compare this choice. Okay, so let us compare this choice with one, two, three, four, and accordingly, we will execute those functions. So let us start. Yes, so here I will be starting with my if else logic. If user choice is equal to equal to, let's have it, uh, Okay, so instead of equal, what we can do is, if user choice not in the given list, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we will take it in string one, two, three, four. So if user choice not in, then what we need to do, print, please enter a valid option. Okay, so please enter a valid option. This message we will display and we will continue. Okay, so the code will continue. Else, okay, else what we will do is we will convert it into, we will convert it into an integer value, user, choice is equal to int 
user choice. Okay, so that is going to get converted into integer. Now let us move ahead. And uh, now let us actually try to call upon which function do we need to have executed. Okay, so here we will write if and uh, user choice is equal to equal to one, then what to do? Okay, so I'm just writing pass as of now. So we have four choices, right? So if user choice is equal to equal to two, then what to do? Okay, again, if user choice is equal to equal to three, then again, we will have certain action to be performed. And if user choice is equal to equal to four, again, we will have certain actions to be performed. Okay. And let's say if the user has entered something else. Okay. So for that condition also, we'll just have else. And here we will print enter a valid choice again. Okay. Or we'll just uh, put not a valid option. Okay. So not a valid option here we will put. Fine. Now let us just uh, quickly put upon that what should happen in the user choice one, two, three, four. Okay. So it is just uh, displaying the box. So we have the object as INDINS dot. So here we can just display the box. We can just call that function display box. Display box. Okay. So this function will just display the box. Now the second one. Okay. So here what we will do choice number two. It is lending a book. Okay. So to lend a book, we need to update the lend book data, lend book dictionary. Okay. So that was a dictionary. So here we will ask, okay. We'll ask what is the book that person wants to uh, lend? Okay. So here we will, we will ask, enter the book name. Okay. So enter the book name you want to lend. Okay, so this is what we will get from the user and we will get name of the user as well. So user is equal to input and here we will have name of the user. Okay, so enter your name. Okay, these two things we have taken from the user. Now, next thing we will do is we will update ind ins dot. So this lent book and here we will pass user and book, these two things. So hope you remember. So here in the lent book, what we are doing, for, we, we are doing, we are updating the lent dict dictionary that that person has taken or we have issued that book to that person. Okay. So we have called that, that function lent book here. Okay. And we have passed the user and we have passed the book both. Okay. And uh, this I have taken in if, so I should, take it into LF, hope you can understand. So if the choice is one, then do this. Else, if the choice is two, then do this. Now let's move ahead. Else, if the choice is three, then what to do? So the third one is add a book. So in this, we will have to call the function add book, okay. And again, we will have to uh, pass the book name, which we want to add. So let me again, Ask the user book is equal to input. So we need to ask the user which book uh, that user wants to add or donate. Okay. So enter the name of the book you want to add. So the book's name user has to put, and we have to call again INDINS dot add book function. Add book. Okay. And here we have to pass book. Okay. So this is going to help us adding the book in the database. Okay. Now after that LF, the user choice is four. In that case, what to do? So in this particular case, the fourth option we have is returning the book. So we'll have to call return function. Again, we will ask the user. Okay. Book is equal to input and enter the name of the book you want to return. 
Okay, so you can see that this is very hard coded and it's not very dynamic. Okay, a little dynamic, but we don't have multiple choices. So one book, one user can issue. It's something like this as of now. Okay, uh, with the uh, data structures we are using till now, it's uh, working that way. So book is equal to input, enter the name of the book you want to return. And here from again, indins dot return book function we need to call return book and we need to pass book name here, okay. So this code is done, okay. All the logic has been done for issuing and returning the book. Now after this, okay, after this, we will again print a message. So print, the message here would be press Q to exit. Okay, so if the user doesn't want to continue now, okay, press Q to exit and C to, so pressing, Q to exit and C to continue. Okay, press C to continue. This message we will display and uh, we will have a mechanism here that user choice to, we will take it in another variable and uh, we will keep it completely. Yes, here you can see, we are keeping it as an empty string and then while We will take user input. Okay, we will take user input here. So we have we have printed and user choice we have taken as okay. Yes. So if or while while we are using here, user choice two is not equal to if it is not equal to C. Okay. And user choice two again is not equal to Q. Okay, so if it is not equal to anything from C that is continue, Q that is Q, then execute user choice two is equal to input. And in the input, we will be taking from the user whatever value, okay, Q or C, user need to put that. And here we will put if user choice two is equal to equal to Q, then here we will be calling any exit function. So let's say os.exit we will call here. Okay, so os.exit, any function you can call which will terminate the program over here. Okay, and uh, then else. Okay, so in else we will write or LF user choice to is equal to equal to the other choice we have is Q. Okay, sorry, C, other choice we have is C. In that case, what to do? We can just continue. Okay, continue, fine. So this is the whole program. We have, we are done with the program and this OS module you can import at the beginning. Okay, so maybe uh, in the above code or here also you can import it. Okay, so import OS. Okay, and let me execute it now. So here you can see, Okay, welcome to the Indeed Inspiring Library. And you can see that the display is not so good. Uh, you can just put slash n over there so that the display uh, looks like a menu. So display all the books. So you can see that we have rich dad, poor dad, C++ fundamentals, let us see. Okay, then here, if you want to continue, press C and done. Then if you want to lend a book, press two and enter the book you want to lend. So C++, F-U-N-D-A-M-E-N-T-A-L-S, fundamentals I want to lend and my name is special I'm putting. And then I'm again continuing. And then I want to return that book. Okay, so let's say somebody else want to lend a book. So second option. And again, the same book that person wants to take. So C++ fundamentals. Okay, so C++ fundamentals. Again, that person wants to take and let's say the name is Krish. So here you can see. Okay, here some error has come. Dict object is not callable. Okay, so I just need to check what I, uh, so here, okay, uh, so IND land book. Okay, so I have called uh, uh, land book uh, here. Okay, so let me just check. So land book. Okay, so here I need to call uh, the land book function. Yes, I need to call the land book function here. And uh, so there it has shown an error. Okay, so let us just check what is this error. Okay, so in this uh, particular, so, 
self dot lend date dot update. So let us make this correction. So here, this should not be the parenthesis. It should be simply yes. So self dot lend date book. Okay. So yes, we can run this again. And this again. Okay, so simply let's have uh, the second option, lend a book, and I'll just write once again a uh, book that is C plus 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 fundamentals and uh, by Kushal. Okay, then again we will continue, and again we we'll lend book only, and uh, the book is C plus plus F U N D A M E N T A L S fundamentals, and this time this is getting issued by Krish. So it says that book has already been used by Kushal. Okay, so we have uh, executed, okay, line by line the whole code. Uh, try this out and thanks for watching. Hope you are happy learning. Quit. Okay, there's one more error. So exit, one missing argument. Okay, so yes, I need to put here exit. Okay, zero, fine. So now again, one and then quit. So it is getting executed. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching.